Hey guys, welcome to this video. So here in this video, I'm going to show you my new Kali Art acrylic paint set of 36 colors. These are the colors as you see on top of the box. So these are basically pastel colors. Okay, so this is these are the pastel colors. So what is a pastel color? In case you don't know, pastel colors are basically different shades of colors by mixing a lot of white with those colors. Okay, so the colors as you can see here, they are pretty light and have a look at the colors. They are so pretty. So the, the reason I like pastel colors is because I mix a lot of white with my paints uh, uh, before painting so i thought i'll buy a set of pastel colors and see how they are and uh, you know so that i can use them directly in my paintings without having to mix every time i'm painting uh, uh you know mix the colors with a lot of white and tint them out so this uh, in this video i am basically going to swatch out the colors on a paper because you know it's always good to see the colors on a paper and uh, see how they they look like so here i have kind of you know named all the colors the name of the colors are also very beautiful and i have already swatched out the top two rows and now i am going to swatch out the bottom three rows with the colors and as you can see in this chart that i have already swatched out the colors are so pretty these are all the colors that you can create so say for example this is a purple the purple that you get in a tube you can mix it with a lot of white and then you can get a color like this but the best part of having a set like this is you know the job is little reduced and you can start using it directly so i have done till aqua uh, and then i'll start from the pale blue now Look at this color, it's so beautiful. I absolutely love this pale blue color. Blue is one of the colors that we generally use a lot in our paintings. In if you are uh, if you love painting landscapes like me, every landscape has a sky, and I like using pale blue colors like this, which is basically a desaturated version of blue. Uh, along with lots of white in it and this color from this tube is directly giving me that color without having to do all the hard work of mixing the colors even though I love mixing colors but I think it's good to have something like this and I also love swatching colors so this is a very meditative exercise for me This is a shade that I absolutely love um, and uh, this is a color or uh, you can create by mixing crimson red, I think a little bit of burnt sienna and uh, lots of white. So all of these colors are nothing that you cannot create from primary colors but it's good to have them in a bottle. Absolutely love this one. This yellow green shade is so beautiful. These are basically all desaturated colors. I won't say all, most of them are desaturated colors. Some of them are vibrant colors also. But I love these desaturated colors. Especially this yellow green that I am swatching right now. I think it's absolutely beautiful.
Okay, so the whole third row is done. Have a look at the colors. It's so, so damn pretty, all the beautiful colors. Okay, so let me get on with creating the fourth and the fifth row. Okay, so another row is complete and have a look at those colors up close. I think out of this row, I absolutely love the red bean paste color, which is so good and the milky tea. I also like the misty gray color a lot. And I feel the colors in this row are a little bit more darker than the previous ones that I did. I mean, this is definitely a lot dark. Um, orchid is also pretty dark, kind of same as the purple. But yeah, overall, really nice colors. Okay, now the last row. This color is a version of ultramarine blue is what I feel. If you add lots of white with ultramarine blue, I'm sure this is the color you get. Okay, now there is only one more color left, which is this one, mint, but I don't have space to do this because I have only 35 boxes, seven by five, and the colors in this box are 36. So this is the only one which is left out, but it looks pretty much greenish, something uh, close to this one. So I'm gonna leave that out. And here is the complete chart that I just created, swatched out all the colors. It's so good to see, uh, look at this chart um, and understand the colors. See, uh, so many of these colors that you can create, uh, this, especially the pale colors, the desaturated ones. Let me show you one uh, small color chart that will help you understand what I mean. So if you look at this, I'm sure we can find some of the common colors from this shade. So this is created by ca mixing cadmium uh, red with burnt umber and we can see that this is a very similar to this color somewhere over here so if you prepare color charts like this you can very well understand what color is where this is one which is mixed created by mixing cadmium yellow with black and if you look at this chart see look at this one the matcha color this is very similar to this color over here so when you create charts like this you can very easily identify which colors are can be created by mixing which color so let me show you some more charts that i have here i think um, this uh, not very similar but uh, something on the reddish side yeah the peach color is very similar to this 
then I have some more charts here of greens you can see this bud green is like this color the green sea over here is like this one the pale green over here is something like this somewhere here so you get the idea so if you don't have this set um, I would highly recommend you if you go ahead and buy this I will post the link below but uh, if you don't have these colors uh, you can always create them at home on your own so I hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you did give it a thumbs up and if you have any questions after watching this video feel free to ask me in the comment section below and I will see you in the next one thank you for watching